Hey guys, we hope you've all had a great start to the year. We wanted to help make it even better with a new firmware update for the R3. In this video, we'll cover the main additions and fixes included in the update. But if you're just here to get the firmware, it's available on our forum, we'll put a link to it and the full change log in the description. We're currently rolling it out so you can download it directly from the R3's interface, so expect to see it there soon if you don't want to manually upgrade. In the second half of the video, we've got some news for R2 users who want to get their hands on Duma OS 4. Plus, stick around until the end because we've got a sneak peek of what's coming next from NetDuma this year. So, what's new in this R3 firmware? Let's start with the big one, behavioral identification. This feature detects all gaming traffic on your network and prioritizes it instantly, even for new games not yet in our application library. Plus, if you work from home using your work VPN, we now ensure your work calls receive the priority they need. Next up, we've completely rewritten the Ping Optimizer feature. It's faster and more effective than ever, so make sure to check it out in this new firmware. And for our non-native English-speaking users, we've added translations for the R3's user interface. You can now change the display language in the settings menu. If your preferred language is missing, please let us know in the comments so we can add it in the future. Now, onto the bug fixes in this update. We always try to improve the performance and stability on the R3 with every update. Some of you will be happy to hear we've tackled some of the most frustrating issues in this firmware, a big one being memory leaks that we know some users have been experiencing. The full changelog is linked below, so check it out if you want more insight into everything that's been fixed. We released a pretty big DPI update for the R3 at the end of last year. These updates expand the R3's ability to support more games and applications. Some highlights from the update include games like Path of Exile 2, Marvel Rivals, and Delta Force. All these games are now in Smart Boost, so their traffic will automatically be prioritized. For some of the games, we'll also be adding GeoFilter and Ping Heatmap support where it'll be helpful. We're already working on the next DPI update, so let us know in the comments which games or applications you want us to include. Now, for the R2 users. There's currently a Duma OS 4.0 beta firmware available for the R2. You can request access to it via the R2 support forum. It's worth mentioning the beta firmware won't be as up-to-date as the R3 firmware mentioned in this video, but it will include the launch Duma OS 4 features. There's a few more things we want to iron out before the official release to the R2. But we know you guys want to get your hands on Duma OS 4 as soon as possible, so feel free to check out the beta firmware. This R3 firmware is the final 4.0 firmware update. The next update will be Duma OS 4.1 and it includes some of the biggest features we've ever made. We're already testing two of the main features in closed beta and we'll have more information to share about them soon. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel to not miss any of the exciting updates we've got planned. 2025 is going to be a big year for NetDuma fans. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.